Hey guys, it's by Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And by now, you probably updated your iPhone to iOS 15. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I consider you should change after you update to the latest iOS 15. These are going to be the first thing you should probably change after you update based on personal recommendations and settings that I think will make the user experience a lot better. Now, if you haven't updated to iOS 15 just yet, it is out for everyone. So all you have to do is head on over into settings head on over into general, go to software updates and iOS 15 should populate and you can download it to your device. So one of the first things I always recommend after you update is check for carrier updates. So that's going to be the network connection, right? So you're going to go ahead and head on over into settings and you will see a pop up similar to this. If there's a carrier update and you want to, of course, update to the latest carrier settings. So you have better connection to the network and improvements overall. So go to settings, general and then you want to head on over into about and that pop-up should show up in this particular category here if there is a carrier update that is definitely one of the first things i always do because most people after the update they say well there's no more updates so why should i go back into about well that is because you do have a carrier settings update for the most part when you do update to a major version of ios as we did this year with iOS 15. Now, the next thing I always recommend is heading over into the App Store. As we know, iOS 15 is fairly new, so developers are constantly updating their applications for better uh, compatibility and stability within the software. So you wanna head on over into the App Store, you wanna go to your name here, and then you wanna make sure that all your apps are up to date. If you do have automatic updates enabled, you still wanna check this because again, developers are constantly updating their applications, and sometimes the updates don't happen instantly, and you wanna make sure that you have the latest updates even if it's just released a day ago for better stability now with that being said you also want to head on over into settings and you want to find the app store extension right here it is and if you have unlimited data i also recommend you enable uh, app downloads over the cell network without asking so that way if you're out and about and a new app application has an update it can update automatically in the background without having to be connected to wi-fi or having to ask you so if your phone is in your pocket or you have it in your bag the apps will update automatically in the background again going into settings app store settings here and then we want to go ahead and click on app download and always allow to download any app however large it is the file it will still download and again this will give you the latest updates and it will also uh, be able to download these applications regardless whether you're connected to a power source Wi-Fi or not so definitely recommend those settings for apps and app updates the next thing I always recommend is to to change the safari layout and this one is a personal recommendation ios 15 has added a new layout for safari if you like the status bar at the bottom the multiple status bar at the bottom then i guess you're okay but for me i do not like the fact that the bar is sitting at the bottom sometimes it messes with other websites that are built different with the status bar on the top in mind so of course what you want to do is you want to head on over into the safari extension here so make sure you go into safari and in safari you have the ability to actually change this to a single tab on the top so it goes back to the standard top right there where it was before so if it was driving you crazy that is how you change that back to the old style safari i personally recommend or i personally enjoy this one because uh, other websites are designed with the status bar on top and sometimes the status bar at the bottom sort of gets in the way not to mention that with the status bar at the bottom sometimes i end up switching through application instead of switching through the tabs so i end up just swiping through apps instead of swiping through the tabs sort of annoying so i prefer that at the top if you want to change that that is how you do it within a safari extension in settings if you like to stay up to date with the latest weather if you're always out and about apple has added a new feature under notifications if we scroll all the way to the bottom and find the weather application for the iphone there it is you now have the ability to receive weather notifications on the lock screen apple has yet to add a lock screen weather but this is a step closer to that this will notify you right here under the weather extension and notifications to get those weather notifications so if it's about the rain you'll get those notifications and make sure you're alerted right there you can enable Enabled my location and if you don't have that enabled just go to location services and always enabled weather and then it just go ahead and select your city and state and there you have it you'll get those weather notifications and I recommend uh, for you to enable this in case you're always out and about for the weather and last but not least this one is for iPhone 12 owners you can go into the cell data options you want to head on over to cell data options here 
and under the voice and data right here where it says 5g auto you want to go ahead and set that to on now this will enable 5g standard throughout the entire os if you prefer 5g and i also recommend in data mode this is more important right here i click always allow more data on 5g now this will enable for you to sync through the cloud using the network again if you have unlimited data i recommend doing this so it would sync all your stuff right there all your cloud stuff through the data quickly with 5g and not only that you'll get better quality facetime video calling so it allows more data therefore facetime calls are crystal clear so allow more data on 5g and enable 5g as on if 5g is the predominant network connection in your area if not of course you want to keep it as auto so it switch it back and forth but those are some of the settings that i personally change and recommend you change after updating to ios 15 let me know in the comments down below which settings do you change thank you for watching this video guys and i'll see you on the next one peace